Hello and welcome. So today I'm going to try my third acrylic pour. Uh, after the first two I've learned a few things and so I'm going to hopefully improve a little bit on this third pour. So here are some of the paints that I used. I had a lot of leftover paints from the last pour so a lot of these are colors that I already used and the um, these are all listed in the description for the video. Um, I did notice that a few of the paints that um, work better are the ones that were from Artist Loft um, as opposed to the ones that I got, like this uh, sky blue for example. It really doesn't uh, work well um, on the... it just kind of blends and it ends up turning almost like a muddy grey. So. Uh, the more vibrant the colors, obviously, um, the better that they show up on the canvas. So I learned that from the last few pours. The other thing that I did notice is the silver, which was also a an Artist Loft acrylic. It actually didn't show up very well in the pour either, and I'm not sure if it's how I tilted or how I mixed mixed the paints. Um, you can see also I <laughs> I um, created another puddle there. I seem to I seem to do that a lot because I did that on one of my last paintings too. Um, so ultimately, what I was trying to do here is um, again get a good number of cells created and also um, almost frame the lighter colors with um, black. So I really wanted to offset the colors by using a lot of black. You, you can see I'm not sure at this point if I should be putting black on just the edges or, or one edge. Um, and then I thought, well, I'm going to try once again using the blow dryer to kind of mix in the paints. But uh, I've learned that I'm not good at it. And uh, so yes, I'm going to keep practicing, but the blow dryer technique is I'm not ready for that. Uh, I noticed that I'm a little bit better with the swipe technique, and so um, I used that on the last on the last pour, and so this is what I'm going to do again on this one. So I'm going to do a bit of tilting, and I am going to swipe in a few places to not 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 fully, but I am going to uh, try to get a little bit of the cells created through through the movement of the paints. So again, um, I tried to use more paint on my canvas this time so that it would cover the edges and and flow a little bit better. But I still think I need a bit more. This one was a bit better. The other thing I noticed is I, for the first time in this particular um, canvas, I used Floetrol for the first time. And the Floetrol did help to take away a lot of the pock mark. Um, the, it was like, it created more of a smooth texture on the top. The last painting had a lot of um, divots in it. This one, it still had, because I didn't use the Floetrol, Floetrol in all of the paints, because I had some that were left over. Um, and so I do think that it will help in my next attempt to make sure that I put Floetrol in all of them and it will actually even out the painting. So um, what I'm trying to decide now is whether or not the colors are right and I did want more of the black to be woven um, and almost frame the center because I do want to paint something in the middle of the canvas, something that will show up uh, and I and I do like I do like having the black. It just seems to help the colors pop. So the last time I used the saran wrap and this time I am using a wet paper towel and doing a very very gentle light swipe over so that it doesn't wipe all of the paint off like in my last my last go around. Um, and again I did kind of like it. The cells were starting to come out and um, and I didn't want it to get too muddied, which is what happened in the previous uh, or in my first in my first painting. So I like the look of this a little bit better. 
uh, the wet paper towel seemed to be, I was able to control it a little bit better. You can see though that there's there's divots coming out of the of the paint there. Um, they're they're cells, but it's um, it's not a smooth surface. So that's obviously something that I still need to work on on my next painting. So overall, I really like the colors. It almost looks uh, more like a um, space type. background rather than an underwater background um, and then I did put in some swipes of black you can see I've I took a popsicle stick after it had dried a bit and just and then just put some a few little swipes up into the middle of the black because I didn't get enough of the black in the center of the piece so this is the wet look um, the final result and um, overall I do like I do like it. And so here is where I painted the jellyfish. This was kind of my first attempt at actually acrylic painting an object um, freehand and uh, made a lot of mistakes, but I was able to fix them as I went along. And ultimately, I don't, I don't mind it. Uh, the copper in the jellyfish, it really shimmers in the light. And um, I like the black on the edges that really offsets it a bit and frames it. So that's it. Uh, if you like this video, I'm just starting out. I would really appreciate it if you would like, share, subscribe, um, and uh, come back and visit me again. Take care. Have a great day.